Hi, this is Amy with Sensorium Hypnosis. I wanted to take a few moments to address some of the most frequently asked questions about hypnosis. One of the first questions new clients will ask is, Amy, how many sessions will I need? Well, when you consider that most of our current struggles are deeply rooted in childhood experiences, going back years and even decades, I want you to consider that these disempowering patterns of thoughts or behaviors are strengthened and reinforced over time. And because these patterns didn't develop overnight, you can't exactly expect them to vanish overnight. So as a general rule, plan on investing in multiple consecutive weekly sessions for an average of about five to eight weeks, depending on the history, severity, and complexity of your presenting issues. Will I remember what happens in my hypnosis sessions? Yes, you will remember everything that happens in your hypnosis sessions. You'll be in a state referred to as the theta state, which is just a deep state of relaxation and heightened focus. It is your ability to focus and retain new information that contributes to the gradual shifts in your behavior. Will I be forced to remember specific things? The hypnotist does not force you to remember specific things in session, but rather the subconscious and higher mind select the memories you need to revisit in order to facilitate insight, growth, and change. How do I know my memories are accurate? You don't. What's more important in hypnosis is how your brain stores the memories and how it translates into thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that are keeping you stuck. And that is the hallmark of our work together. I'm not sure how comfortable I am sharing my feelings is hypnosis a good fit for me? Well, to be honest, some of our sessions can get pretty emotional. So if you've been walking around with anxiety, depression, chronic pain, or addictions, part of the healing process is learning to acknowledge, nurture, and manage the emotional body. It's best if you enter this process open to sharing your feelings on a deeper level than you might otherwise share with others. How is hypnosis different from mainstream counseling? Well, for one, hypnosis is considered the gateway to the subconscious mind. And because we are able to access the subconscious mind, we can drill down right to the root cause without traipsing through years of unnecessary client history. It also may help to think of a hypnotist more of a coach or a guide in helping you reclaim yourself as the authority and expert in your own healing journey. My job is to give you the tools and strategies for redirecting your thoughts, moods, and behaviors so that they are in direct alignment with the higher self. Clients sometimes want to know why I integrate energy healing into my sessions. And here's my answer. So much of our trauma is trapped in the cells of our body. And when we ignore the emotional body for too long, it can eventually have a detrimental effect on the physical body. And this is very important considering a great majority of my clients are suffering from chronic fatigue and autoimmune conditions. Well, during this interactive process, I help my clients acknowledge, release, and transmute lower vibrational energy, as well as open up their spiritual pathways to receive higher frequency energy from divine source, whomever or whatever that is to you. So you're ready to move forward with hypnosis and you're wondering what's the next step? And it's pretty simple. All you need to do is book a free strategy call, which is just a fancy name for a consultation. And you will find a link to my online calendar highlighted in blue beneath this video, or you can simply just visit my website, sensoriumhypnosis.com, for more information, resources, or a link to my online calendar. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and I look forward to connecting with you in the near future. Thank you.